So the Beecroft sniper build. The build where Beecroft shot into the void again with something of a quite bad build. I will try to fix that build as best as I can without going too far away from his build. How is his build so bad that I even decided to make a video of it and why do I do that? Well I've seen it multiple times that people use Beecroft's build then turn into my public death sentence lobby, die a couple of times then say death sentence is a bullshit difficulty that makes no fun. Which is completely wrong. I've seen that especially on his Kingping setup. Which is quite sad because Kingping is one of the best perks in the game. Now why do I think his latest build is bad? Starting in Mastermind. He goes up with Quick Fix, Magic Bags and then Inspire. Grabbing some Convert skills, but no Hostage Taker. Why? Why no hostage taker if you do not take reset kits? You are using rogue, after all. And some sort of health regen would be nice. If you take medic bags, get painkillers instead. I prefer that over quick fix. But then please take hostage taker. If you don't do that, then keep quick fix and go for first aid kits instead. His setup would make sense if we would take berserker. But that raises the next question. Why would anybody use berserker on rogue? It doesn't really make sense. Race is a mediocre skill. I wouldn't say it's mediocre. It's an amazingly good skill if you bring sniper rifles. It's almost a must have, I would say, at some point. I just myself went up here to Grace a bit differently than he did. Enforcer. I can't really change much here. I just would remove Scavenger since it's a bit pointless for the contractor sniper rifle that you took. Technician. Remove that steady grip. I don't really see a reason for it as well. Ghost. Don't use sneaky bastard on rogue please. Like, like please, I beg you. By that you can remove in a pockets ace and parkour both basic and ace. Because you don't quite need that much movement speed anyway for the two piece suit. Plus convert skills actually already give a speed boost. Remove high value target completely. Use these skill points in mastermind to get that hostage taker. That way you can keep the manic bags without any issues. But please remove that quick fix, I beg you. I'd rather go for Unseen Strike basic as well, for some more crits. Since you do not use Berserker. However, you can also go for Transporter and Die Hard basic as well. I am still a bit unsure here what to take, honestly. Here in Fugitive I would keep the 9 lives ace as well, as you did. Weapons. I think here is where the build pretty much collapses. You take the contractor sniper rifle, which itself is fine, it's a good sniper rifle, don't get me wrong. However, I find it death sentence viable with Berserker only. Because it gives me actual break points, so I can one shot, headshot, heavy seal units. However, you could use snipers like Desert Fox to go against that. The 500 damage it has is enough to deal with seals. No need for a Berserker. The secondary is something I totally cannot understand. Yes, it gives good concealment, so you can take stuff like low blow. But that doesn't help at all against bulldozers. As you have shown yourself within the first 20 seconds of your video. This is why you take SMG instead to actually kill them with ease. Crink of SMG does the job best. It has a quite bad concealment level. So it's not suitable for our build here. However, guns like the Micro Uzi do their job extremely well if modded correctly. Perk deck. I won't change the rogue perk, but I still want to mention that there are way better options than full RNG mode. So if you are a special hacker, I, I way better pick instead of rogue. What I say here is don't use rogue, it's a bad perk.